Hi, thanks for tuning in to learn more about how you can reduce risk with Critical Start and Microsoft. My name is Randy Watkins. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Critical Start, and I'm joined today by our VP of Microsoft Services, Leonard Voling. We'll hear from Leonard in just a little bit, but first I want to tell you more about Critical Start and our managed detection and response offering. Critical Start's been partnered up with Microsoft for the last five or six years or so, really building out a portfolio of robust services wrapped around the Microsoft Defender suite. We are a Microsoft verified MXDR partner, one of the first helped them design the certification. We're a managed partner. Um, we've been, like I said, paired up with them for quite a while. And during that time, we've developed very deep API integrations that allow us to deliver our service seamlessly and behind the scenes while sitting on top of your existing security investment. We do this to provide simplified breach prevention that gives you the 24 by seven monitoring that you need, but also provides some unique capabilities like the resolution of every single alert, regardless of criticality and contractual SLAs of one hour TTD and TTR for every single alert, regardless of criticality. Now, for those unfamiliar with what MDR is, MDR is an evolution of MSSP services that really focused on providing more value than what MSSP was doing. Instead of just escalating alerts, managed detection and response is, you guessed it, focused more on the response uh, portion of that. So we really look at uh, MDR space as reducing risk, providing that 24 by 7 coverage, but also really doing that active threat containment and showing that return on security investment. So what is MXDR? Well, MXDR was kind of coined by Microsoft and pointed out the extended uh, detection and response framework, leveraging multiple signals from Microsoft's Defender Suite to not only detect, but also respond to and contain different threats inside the organization, giving us a much more complete picture of what the attacker is doing in the environment and allowing us to link together signals like identity, email, and endpoint to see the end-to-end -end scope of the attack and identify that breach earlier on in the cycle. Now, a lot of folks try to stitch their own solution together by leveraging quote unquote best of breed tools like CrowdStrike, Netscope, Okta, and Proofpoint. There's nothing wrong with these products. Um, they do tend to lead their, their class. But if you look at the different uh, analyst firms like Gartner and Forrester, you'll see Microsoft in the top right of every quadrant they participate in. So Microsoft really is best of breed, but they tie it all together with solutions that talk together and learn from each other to make it really a best in portfolio solution that Critical Start leverages to do the detection response. And what you end up with is a simplified security uh, architecture that is fully managed and operationalized by a 24 by seven SOC and contractual SLAs for the resolution of every alert generated out of the Microsoft security suite. Return on investment meets breach prevention. Now, how do we do this? So we start off with those API integrations I discussed earlier. We use those for a couple of different things. One, we use them to enrich the amount of detections inside of Microsoft. We input our own KQL queries, our own advanced threat hunts, our own detection logic into your products. You get to keep that forever and always, whether you're a critical start customer or not. We also use it for alert ingestion. We use the APIs to bring every single alert into our platform. Once it's in our platform, we use those APIs for additional investigation, pulling back more information, as well as containing the threat by isolating hosts, disabling user accounts, revoking session tokens, deleting emails, et cetera. Right? We really use the full breadth of Microsoft security portfolio by leveraging those APIs. Now, once the alerts are in our platform, the Cyber Operations Risk and Response Platform, or CORE, they get bounced off of what's called our Trusted Behavior Registry. The Trusted Behavior Registry is essentially a catalog of known good and expected behaviors that generate false positive or that generate alerts. Essentially, they're false positives. We use that TBR to resolve every single alert that we've already investigated and seen and know to be expected or good. Anything that doesn't match that TBR goes to our SOC for additional investigation. Through this model, we are resolving every single alert that comes out of the Microsoft Defender Suite and uh, doing the investigation and either containing it or escalating it to you. Now you can determine what we do and don't contain. Every single rule of engagement is completely customizable based on your organization. And if we do escalate something to you, you can interact with our analysts or with the alert either in our platform, or you can use our mobile SOC application to do security on the go 
everything from investigation, communication, and containment directly from your mobile device, leveraging your Microsoft licensing. Now we integrate with folks outside of Microsoft, though Microsoft is the focus. We tie into other quote unquote best of breed solutions like Sentinel One, CrowdStrike, uh, Splunk, uh, Cortex, Palo Alto, et cetera. Uh, and really we're, we're doing that so we can help you transition seamlessly and smoothly into the Microsoft security portfolio. So if you come to us and you say, hey, I'm moving into an E5 suite, I wanna simplify my security architecture, but I'm currently running CrowdStrike with Splunk, we can monitor that today while helping you migrate into the Defender Suite that you want to leverage for your security going forward. We've been doing MDR since before it was cool, about eight years now, uh, before it had an acronym. Uh, and really, MDR is a reactive control. It's necessary, but it's reactive. We see a lot of organizations starting to shift towards proactive controls, and that's where we're going. And we tend to align with Gartner on this. So in January, we started development of a new series or solution set uh, that enables us to be more proactive. And in June, Gart uh, Gartner came out and uh, completely validated our thoughts by showing this slide at the uh, Security and Risk Management Summit. Well, at Black Hat, we released what we're calling Managed Cyber Risk Reduction, or MCRR. MCRR is our holistic way to address risk across a variety of controls and principles uh, to not just be a reactive control, but also improve security posture to increase your resilience against those commoditized attacks and also provide the MXDR service on the back end in the case of the more persistent or advanced attacks. Through this model, we're able to increase your maturity across multiple disciplines including identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. If you're familiar with NIST CSF, this should be extremely recognizable to you. Uh, and what we're doing is really playing across all the different functions, including uh, doing pure benchmarking and making uh, very uh, detailed recommended uh, controls to put in place or recommendations for projects that you can run to reduce your cyber risk across all the different verticals. Now, Implementing and leveraging and operationalizing Microsoft is a journey. It's not a one-stop shop. It's not a, a quick project that you're going to do, but Critical Start is well-equipped with both the MDR and services to help you uh, along that journey. And to talk more about those services, I'm happy to introduce our VP of Microsoft Services, Leonard Foley. Leonard, take it away. Thanks, Randy. Uh, yeah, it, it is a journey. I mean, most customers today are in that best of breed mode where they have siloed solutions for email, identity, endpoint, CASB, SIM, uh, et cetera. Uh, and Microsoft is uniquely positioned with their SIM and XDR story uh, to address that, that full complement of, of assets. Uh, but the journey is gonna be different for every customer. Uh, you know, Some customers are gonna start with SIM and moving into Sentinel. Other customers are gonna start on the endpoint. Um, for others, it might be email. So with our Microsoft services, Critical Start can help you explore and rationalize where does the journey start and, and how is it going to unfold, you know, for your specific organization. So uh, let's let's get dig in a little deeper to some of the different services we offer. Uh, Critical Start has a broad range of, of capabilities. Uh, the, the team I lead, we're focused more on that design build kind of engagement where we're helping customers deploy and optimize the Microsoft security solutions. Randy talked a lot about our managed services, uh, platform management related to, to SIM, MXDR related to that ongoing 24-7, ongoing 365 uh, security alert management within those Microsoft tools, uh, customer success, our SOC, cyber research unit, all key uh, different teams that make up that service. But then we also have an incident response team. Uh, I think most folks think of incident response as reactive, uh, but there's also, of course, proactive services uh, that that team can offer and all leveraging uh, the Microsoft stack of tools. Um, when you think about that Microsoft stack of tools, uh, you know, Microsoft's obviously a, a massive tech company with, with capabilities across cloud, productivity, analytics, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Critical Start stays laser focused on security, first and foremost, compliance, identity, and management. 
And, and just to give you a feel for where our wheelhouse is, it, it really is in Simon XDR. That's where we have a, a lot of depth in that Microsoft 365 Defender space, the Microsoft Sentinel space. We're also uh, experts in identity and access, uh, cloud security, uh, things like endpoint inclusive of uh, MDE, of course, but also Intune. Uh, we, we are very proficient in uh, the information protection realm, primarily purview, uh, information protection purview, uh, DLP. Uh, the rest of these areas in, in compliance, i.e. privacy and insider risk management are things we're watching. Uh, obviously, there's areas where it dovetails into the security story, um, but not places that, that we are, are as focused as we are on the SIM and XDR function. So what, what does that look like in terms of uh, engagement types? Uh, if, if you're in that situation where you're just starting to explore, hey, what, what is this Microsoft integrated story? How does it feel to have your know, signal shared from email to endpoint with, with identity feathered in? You know, that's where we can engage, obviously, in, in roadmap type uh, sessions where we're maybe demoing something, maybe whiteboarding, maybe just you know, working on a matrix. Uh, workshops are essentially POCs where we're going to help you in your production environment properly explore these tools. How do they work? Are they ready? Uh, what's it gonna look like uh, in your environment specifically? Uh, assessments hopefully are pretty self-explanatory. And then when you're ready to deploy and optimize, uh, we have what we call accel accelerator deployments where we're gonna get you from, from zero to let's say 80 in most cases, uh, ready for MDR, ready to start getting a ton of value out of the Microsoft security solutions. Uh, and then with custom deployments, that's where you've made that decision where we're ready to move from Splunk to Sentinel. We're ready to migrate from CrowdStrike to MDE or Proofpoint to MDO. We've done a lot of those projects, uh, had a lot of success helping customers uh, make that transition. And then retainer advisory services are really just where we're engaged in more of an ongoing manner, and that can take a lot of different forms. Uh, to bring it all together, uh, you know, when we think about that full life cycle, it's typically going to be our services team that engages on the front end to help you through that planning of, okay, what is this going to look like? How does it work? Uh, rationalizing it against your requirements and what that deployment journey is going to look like, how we're going to sequence these things together, all that good stuff. That's going to parlay into you know a, a build kind of activity where we're actually deploying, configuring, optimizing the, the Microsoft security tools uh, in your environment. And then for, for critical start, run really means you know MDR, MXDR, MCRR. Uh, and that's going to be the focus there. Uh, but hopefully that gives you a feel for the different services we offer, gives you a feel for that, what that journey might look like as you start to explore Microsoft SIM and XDR solutions. Uh, with that, I'm going to toss it back to Randy. Excellent. Thank you, Leonard. Uh, appreciate the insight into Critical Start services around Microsoft and then also that instant response piece. As Leonard showed, we really do have the end-to-end -end services that can help you implement and operationalize your Microsoft security suite, really get the most uh, ROI from that investment in the E5 license, or help you migrate into that E5 suite, moving from those quote-unquote best-of-breed products into more of a best-of-portfolio approach. I hope you enjoyed all the information that uh, we laid out uh, during this uh, kind of brief overview. If you want more information, um, we are actually excited to announce that we're doing a roadshow with Microsoft. So do look for the Threat Protection Delivered Roadshow coming to a city near you. We're leveraging the Microsoft MTCs for most of these. We'll also have one delivered online. Um, you can register at the link there. And if you want any additional information or you just want to contact us for a, a deeper dive demo, talk about your specific situation, please reach out to us at criticalstart.com contact for more information. Thank you very much. Have a good day.